All economic development really emanates from an educated population. So I've always supported a fully, uh, fully funded budget for whether it's UPA and our professors specifically or for the public schools. I like to support universities uh, for many reasons. One is that by supporting our universities, supporting it at faculty, they, all, they themselves bring in resources. So by actually having a very vibrant faculty, making sure that we have com um, competitive wages at the highest level, we're able to then get additional grants, additional federal support, additional state support for interesting projects. So all these things feed on themselves. I would say also that I'm not against against uh, moving monies from other programs that perhaps have, have failed us. Um, not, I'm not being judgmental, I'm saying that some programs across the uh, state government just don't function as well as higher education does. And the reason, again, I support moving money from programs that haven't worked as well, reforming some of our social programs that really aren't bringing good results, and putting it into education instead, is because the educated population is much more productive economically. It then also uh, spurs further growth because we have more educated citizens that come under kind of the arms of our faculty members. So all of these things produce additional economic growth, and that's my general economic approach to education.